There are new developments in a controversial Philadelphia police shooting. The four officers involved in the death of a 12 year old boy are now facing a lawsuit from the child's family. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is at the Public Services Building tonight. Matt? Just on top of that lawsuit, the city's district attorney expects developments in the case this week, but the DA stopped short of saying whether or not those officers involved might face any charges. Sometimes the situation is very clear one way, sometimes it is not. Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner was tight lipped Monday, dodging several questions about the investigation into the deadly police involved shooting of 12 year old Thomas Sedario. Did the 12 year old have a gun on him when police fired? Not, I'm not going to comment at this time. I cannot tell you exactly what's going on for fear of jeopardizing an investigation. I know that you would all like me to be able to say more. What we do know is Sedario's father, who's serving time in prison on an unrelated charge, is now challenging the police account of his son's death. And his attorney is filing a lawsuit against the four officers involved. What we're seeing here is a completely panicked situation. Attorney Connor Corcoran claims 12 year old Sedario did not have a gun on him as police chased him. And Corcoran adds We have a, a very strong suspicion that this child was shot at close range in the back. Directly beside his body was a chalk mark where a shell casing lay. The situation with the 12 year old uh, is under very close and careful investigation. I expect there to be some developments with reference to that situation this week. And the attorney for Thomas Sedario's family tells us they're still grieving. A viewing is now being planned for Wednesday evening and Thursday morning at the Lighthouse Baptist Church on South Broad Street. Reporting live outside the Philadelphia Public Services Building, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you for that.